everyone and welcome to Homestead Tessie and today it's going to be crock pot Wednesday and we're going to go in my pantry because this crock pot meal is from our storage. So Fanny's diary is a four or five year diary, but I went to 1945. Maybe you guys can let me know because this entry was really, really important. She says she went to the doctors and Hitler committed suicide and it was raining and Frank brought home a cow. So you guys can let me know. Um, this was May 1st, but it was five years later. So it'd be 1945. So for this crock pot Wednesday, we're going into my pantry. I'm going to share with you the video that I did making my French onion soup. So we're going to get some of my French onion soup out and we're going to put that in the crock pot. And with that, then we'll have the homemade white bread. So that's crock pot Wednesday. I'm really focusing on making Crop Pot Wednesday and Cheap Meal Monday, foods that I have in my pantry. Because it doesn't make any sense to go out and buy food just for those videos. I just wanted to see how I make and use my pantry items. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make French onion soup. This video is going to be the Crock Pot meal, plus we're going to make some homemade bread. And I have my trusty old bread machine that I got for 50 cents over seven years ago. And I'm going to make some homemade white bread. Now what I use this for generally is to mix the dough up and then I will shape it and you'll see me shaping it and we'll bake it that way. So the first thing I like I promised you I want to always show you where I get my recipes from. I got this cookbook for 50 cents. This is my favorite bread machine cookbook because it shows you big in-depth pictures of what you're making. So today's cookbook comes from The Electric Bread and it's by Williams and Simona. This is a really old book. Bread machines were really widely popular in the 90s and they were so expensive and a lot of people don't use bread machines anymore, but I like to use my bread machine to mix up my dough to do the heavy work of making bread. And really it doesn't take much electricity because you're not baking your bread in it. And the only electricity you really use is, is for it to knead the dough and it does have a small heating element in it. But it really works out great this way for me and I just really enjoy making my bread this way. Because while my bread is kneading, I can go and do some other chores. When you're using a bread machine recipe, you always want to put the ingredients in as they are stated. So the first ingredient is water. And we are going to use one and one eighth cup of water, warm water. And we put it directly into our bread machine pan. Three cups of white bread flour. And this is some of my canned flour that I oven canned, which I will share with you in the link above. To that, we're going to add one tablespoon and a half of dried milk. And then two tablespoons of sugar. I'll read these recipe out at the end of this. You 
can substitute honey for the sugar. One and a half teaspoons of salt. and two tablespoons of butter. And what I do with my butter is I will just cut it up very finely. But it all gets incorporated because when the heating is on it to help it rise, it will melt it. And then it calls for two teaspoons of fast rise yeast or three of active rise. And this doesn't say either. It says instant. So I'm going to go with the three teaspoons of it. I'm not sure why they don't tell me what it is. It just says instant. So we'll go three. And that's it, my friends. Now all we got to do is put it in the bread machine and it's all ready to go. So, all right, so now we're getting the bread out of our bread pan and I am hoping I don't have to use any flour because the least amount of flour the best and the lightest it makes it so what we're going to just do is we're going to take our pan and we're just going to shape it shape it like this and we're going to put it in our pan just like this so I'm going to show you where I'm going to have it rising. So now we have two, I made another loaf, so now we have two loaves. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Since it's such a warm day, we're going to take both of these and we're going to cover it with a flour cloth. Um, we, use these, we use these all the time here in the homestead. So we have our bread outside here, where you can see. And we're going to let it rise, and it's going to rise about two hours, and then we can bake it at 350 for another 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done rising. You tap it, and if it sounds hollow, then your bread is done. So we're going to let it in for just a few minutes more and our bread is finished. Give it a try. Mm 
mm, mm, mm. That is really good. Dip a little bit of homemade bread in it. And that is amazing. To can, go ahead and check this recipe out. It's a perfect canning recipe. If you don't like to can, you can go ahead and still use that same recipe. Just don't can it. Everyone, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, if you like my channel, could you do me a favor? Maybe you could share it on Facebook or share it on Instagram. Or maybe you could share my channel through Twitter. By sharing my channel is what helps me and gets my channel out into the whole YouTube world. And it's by sharing my channel that my videos get shared. So thanks again for helping me and we'll see you guys tomorrow.